It's late and I'm here for it, baby. Hi, I'm the African witch bitch. Am I the asshole for wanting to sweeten a situation that I caused myself? Greetings, my beloved auntie. I first want to tell you that I have followed you for years and that you have really assisted me by teaching me how to vibrate on a much higher frequency than I have ever vibrated. You see, I used to be one of those practitioners that you always talk about. I would be on IG cold calling people in DM trying to get them to purchase readings and I would tell them that they had bad luck or bad witchcraft on them only to sell them some spell work that I wouldn't do just to get money. I did this for about two years, that is, until I came across your video where you talked about the three different types of practitioner workers. And well, that read you gave in that video convicted the fuck out of me. But nonetheless, the money was so good and I found myself addicted to it. I mean, auntie, I'm ashamed to admit it now, but I made thousands of dollars off people and when they found out, I would simply block them and move on to the next person. Fast forward. I met a man last year. This man is everything in caps. He is everything I ever wanted. And let's just say we hit it off amazing. I, he don't mind that I'm a spiritual worker because he is one too. We dated for about a year and last month he proposed to me. I said, yes, exclamation point three times. I have never been so happy to be with anyone in my life. And I love this man to no end. We announced our engagement to our families and all are so happy. This is the first time I've ever been engaged. I've even started planning my wedding that I, and I would like to respectfully, respectfully and honorably ask you if you would fly out all expenses paid, of course, to Jamaica to be a part of the ceremony. Being that me and my man both love you dearly. Well, this brings me to a night about two weeks ago. I left my laptop open and fell asleep. He went through my laptop and saw my IG page where I would solicit my services and read some of my communications to my clients slash victims. He screamed and I woke up. He demanded answers and begged me to tell him that this was not me doing this to people. I was half asleep, but I couldn't think of an answer because the proof was right there on the screen. He read the emails out loud. One particular where a lady was saying she gave me all of her daughter's birthday money to cleanse her $3,000. And wanted proof that it was done. I blocked her. The other lady who asked for a healing ritual for her daughter's puppy and I told her to send me the money instead of going to the vet, $2,000. Well, the puppy died and she wanted a refund. I blocked her. He was in tears. I have never seen my man so heartbroken. He abruptly left our apartment and I begged him to stay, but he ran out. The next day when I was at work, he came over and packed all his things and left his key and told me that he was done. I have been trying to contact him for like two weeks and he won't respond. He is a ghost on social media and none of his family will respond to me either. I even went over to his mama and daddy's house to look for him and his sister, who I thought we had a bomb ass relationship, threatened to whoop my ass if I didn't leave. So I left. Please, auntie, how do I get him back? Am I the asshole for putting us in a honey jar? Please help me so that I can marry the man of my dreams and fly you out to Jamaica. Love, desperate and sorry for what I did. So I feel like that the only reason that you hit me up is because you wanted the truth. You wanted me to give it to you real and give it to you raw because that is what I do. I am the African witch bitch. <laughs> Let me, um, I got to, I got to comb through this email because I'm, I'm, I have to be honest with you, honey. I am disgusted by what you wrote. On so many levels, on so many good goddamn levels, I am disgusted by what you wrote. So you said um, that you've been following me for years and um, and I've ha assisted you. And you watched one of my um, videos. You were a scamming ass bitch. You stole a lot of money from a lot of unsuspecting people by cold calling them 
on social media, souping their head up, telling them that they had bad luck, this, that, and the third, and then you would ask rape charge them to cleanse it off, which you never would do. You're one of them types. I've been begging one of y'all motherfuckers to debate me, but nobody will come. That's on a side note. <clears throat> you said you came across one of my videos uh, where I gave the three different type of practitioners. And for you people who don't know which video that is, you can go on my website and scroll down. I have a couple of videos listed. It's right there. The three different types of practitioners. And you said the red that I gave you in that video convicted you, but it didn't convict your ass enough because you still kept stealing and scamming and swindling people, lying to them about work just so you can dig in their goddamn pockets. Um, you met a man, a wonderful man who follows me as well. You guys got engaged. You were still stealing. Even though you had a job, you still was stealing. When you could have took that same energy, put it into a manifestation spell, an employment spell, a better job spell, a promotion spell, a start a business spell, and got your shit the ethical way, you still was digging in motherfuckers' pockets. So... Hopefully, if this young man is watching this video, he is following my tutorial by always being up on your protection work. Because when you ask spirit to protect you, they will reveal to you some shit about the motives of the people around you. And apparently that is what happened here. Because um, a week or two after he proposed, spirit was like, uh-uh, you left your laptop open, he saw what you did. You took this woman's birthday money, which is $3,000, and blocked her after you got her for her money. You, this woman, baby girl's puppy was sick, and you told the bit, you told her not to take the money to the vet, but to send it to your bitch ass. So this little girl's crying over the death of her puppy. Probably had faith you would do a ritual for her. Mama probably didn't know better, because if she following me, she would know better. And you stole that little girl's money and broke her heart. And when the woman wanted a refund, you blocked her. And my nephew, the man you was going to marry, saw this shit and had his heart broken. So now you have the audacity to offer to fly me out to bless your wedding, to do a ritual at your wedding. Talking about all expenses. I don't want none of your motherfucking money. I don't want you paying for a trip from here to the stop sign for me. Because if your money is ill-gotten gains, I don't need that type of negativity in my life. I pride myself being as ethical as possible. Everything I have, I got it myself. I have a whole ass career outside of AWB where I make damn good money protecting children from child abuse. And I love my job. So I don't need you buying shit for me or offering me to do a goddamn thing for you. I will never, I would not fly out to Jamaica to do an African spiritual ritual for your wedding so you can get souped up and hooked up to this man so you can further steal and swindle. You broke his heart. You said that you've never seen your man cry like that and he ran out the house and left and when you went to work, he packed his shit and left. <sighs> you say you're sorry now, but to me, you're only sorry you got caught. You're not sorry you did it. Let me tell you what sorry you did it would look like. Sorry you did it is damn, I scammed the first few people or I've been doing this for a while, but I feel really, really guilty. This is not right. I feel convicted by the ancestors. I seen AWB's uh, video. I'm going to make restitution. I'm going to go reach out to all the people that sent me money and makes apologize to them and make a plan to pay them their money back. That's a person who's sorry. You don't need <clears throat> anybody to find out. You convict yourself and you make right. Because right now, the only person who wins in this situation is you because you're walking around with a pocket full of stolen money, a pocket full of swindled money, a pocket full of scammed money. The people, your victims, they sitting up here with a loss and a hurt. Their money gone. Your um, ex-fiance walking away with a broken heart and trust issues because he trusted you. And the only person that win is you. And you just want to just walk away with these people money talking about you're sorry, but you're only sorry you got caught. Have you made any plans to call these victims back? Apologize to them and return that money? 
Have you made any plans to do that? Then your ass ain't sorry enough. You might be a sorry ass piece of shit, but you're not sorry for what the fuck you did. You're only sorry you got caught because if you had a locked your laptop or he hadn't went through it, you'd still be scamming. And I truly believe that with my whole heart. So you ask me, how do you get him back, baby? I'm, I'm speaking to your ex-fiance, nephew. Let me tell you something. You run. You run like the plague. Do not marry this woman. Do not run. Do not marry her. Run furthest away. If she's coming east, baby, you go west. Do not marry her. She need to stand on um, your left because she ain't right at all for anything she did. I see nothing that you said in here about making it right. The only thing I see is that you're selfish and self-centered because all you care about is getting this damn man back and doing spell work to do it. I'm not going to help you so you can marry him. And I damn sure don't want you sending me shit. I wouldn't go from here to the fucking bus stop with you. I'm not going to no damn Jamaica. I don't even want to want you in any type of proximity to my energy. And I'm real careful of who I share my energy with. So this is what I want you to do. You need to sit down and you need to make a plan to make it right. You need to call up all your victims, unblock them, DM them, apologize to them. Even if you got to pay motherfuckers back $10 a week until you pay them back all their money that you stole. I want you to unfollow me. I don't need you on my platforms. I don't want you in my tea room. I searched your email and your name. Hopefully you are not in my tea room, but if I find out you are, I'm going to block you and so will my admins. If you're on my Patreon, I need you to go until you make it right for the people that you harmed, especially, especially this little girl with her puppy and this woman with her baby's birthday money and whoever else is in your belt talking about you sitting up here bragging, talking about the money was too good and you became addicted to it. And you say that you're a spiritual worker. No, you're a spiritual scammer. You're a thief. You're a robber. You're a crook. And you're the worst type of person in this lane because people only thing that people want is a connection to their ancestors. And a lot of people have not gotten my message or the message that you don't need a lot of money to do it. Your birthright beats through your veins. The blood that beats through your veins is the same blood that your ancestors and your ancestors' ancestors had before you. That's where your power lay. All you got to do is tap into it and it costs next to nothing to do that. If somebody came up to me and told me that they have $2,000 for a cleansing, I would tell them to save their money and spend seven bucks doing a spiritual bath. You can buy the shit from my uh, website, but if you don't even have that and you're in that dire of a strait, I'll send you it to for free. Don't believe me? There's people that will comment under this video now that I have helped for free. But you're sitting up here charging bitches three thousand dollars and this lady would hit her puppy two thousand dollars to heal her puppy and you just took the money and blocked her and you have the audacity to talk about you want me to fly out and chill with you i need you to make it right after you make plans and uh apologize to your victims and pay them back the money you stole from them then you can refollow me again nephew again run don't marry her what can she possibly do for you if you are joined with her, spiritually joined with her? Your ascension um, to elevate higher in spirit will be heavily handicapped if you have this bitch as your wife. And I'm just keeping it 100 pennies. And if y'all sit up and think that I'm being um, wrong or too harsh or whatever, I sit up and I think about how hard earned people's money are. Money is. I remember being broke. I remember working three jobs. I remember being homeless. I remember sleeping in my car. I remember sleeping in my car at Walmart, not having a home, just wanting a connection with my ancestors. I know that the, the price, the cost of living is higher than alien pussy. Parents are scraping, trying to rob Peter to pay Paul to make ends meet. Sometimes people got to choose between gas in their car, food in their fridge, or medication for their kids or for themselves. And people literally don't have it these days. Like I've said before, if you have a warm bed and access to clean water, you're richer than 70% of the children on earth are. And for us to be living in this dire state where gas prices are high as hell, for you to craft a plant two years ago, we were in the middle of COVID. 
You said you was doing this shit two years ago. People was losing their jobs left and right. Family members was dying. People was having to pay for funerals, medication, sick, can't go to work, laid off, jobs closing down. And you out here and the people are desperate. And you out here scamming and stealing and blocking people. And you talking about you sorry for what you did. Your name is desperate and sorry for what I did, bitch. You only sorry you got caught. You're not sorry for what you did. Because you've had plenty of time, space, and opportunity to make it right to your victims and you did nothing. You are the worst type of practitioner and you give all of us a bad name. And from now to my dying day, I'm going to be that voice for the babies out there who don't know to expose bitches like you. So that people don't fall scam to that and they learn how to do their own spiritual work and tap into their own power. Ashe, I am the African witch bitch hoodoo practitioner. If you have an Am I the Asshole story, you can email it in the description box. My email is in the description box below. If you are in the market to purchase low-cost hoodoo supplies, my uh, website is in the description box below. I hope that man runs like the plague the fuck away from you and I say to his sister who threatened to whoop your ass for showing up at her mama's house. Sis, you, you did the right thing. I'd do the same thing. But lady, you need help. And you definitely need to make a plan for restitution. I am the African witch bitch. I will talk to you guys soon. Ashe.